Aloha everybody and welcome back to my channel, Kyle Astrology. I'm going to be continuing my series today, what it's like to have the different combinations of sun signs for Scorpio rising. Uh, this one is going to be what it's like to have uh, the sun sign in Sagittarius in combination with the Scorpio ascendant. So um, I do want to preface this and say that this is probably one of my uh, favorite locations for Scorpio Rising to have as far as their sun sign. Um, I really like how it blends with Virgo Sun and Cancer Sun, but this one's probably my favorite of all. And um, the reason I say this is going to be um, a big part of what makes this combination what it is, which is truth. Um, really big thing, very bold truth. Um, Scorpio and Sagittarius definitely have this in common, which is one reason I love both of these signs in general, no matter where you find them. Um, you know, it's interesting because Scorpio being a water sign and feeling, although fixed water, so you know, it's, it is able to be very functional without emotion consuming them, depending on what kind of emotion, you know, and when they're out in the world and having to deal with matters of business and whatnot, but they are very concerned with um, truth and getting to the bottom of things, the fact of very fact, matter of fact, like, and Sagittarius, while they're not necessarily matter of fact, like, you know, they're, they're much more lighthearted and a, a, a very fun energy, but they also are very concerned with higher truths, higher learning, um, the higher dimensions of the mind and consciousness and perspective and perception and all these really important things. Um, so the way I see it is Scorpio kind of deals with the emotion of truth and Sagittarius deals with the philosophy of truth and actually spreading it like the wildfire that it is. Whereas Scorpio has to dig deep into Hades and discover the truth so that Sagittarius can then shed light on it. Um, and so how this works, you know, the sun in Sagittarius uh, the sun, in general, does very well in fire signs. As we know, the sun rules over Leo, it's exalted in Aries, and it's a very uh, fun placement in Sagittarius. And so this is someone who, you know, this is where their ego and the willpower and drive is at. Um, shining light is going to be obviously pretty uh, natural to this person. But with the Scorpio rising, who is equally wanting to you know, find the truth that Sagittarius is able to deliver, the Scorpio Ascendant has to then allow themselves to go to the depths. And so while this is good and they're both truth-seeking, where it can be kind of a dichotomy is, you know, Sagittarius is wanting to shine its light of the sun doing its thing, right, naturally, but Scorpio rising um, has to go into the darkness, into the darkest, deepest, scariest places sometimes and any Scorpio ascendant no matter what sun sign they have knows that this is just a part of our process uh, we're born we die and we're reborn again over and over and over this is a process that Sagittarius does not have to go through they kind of are you know being mutable fire are just kind of like you know here there and somewhere else you know it's that wildfire I think about like the wildfires in California and um, Brazil and just all the places in, in Peru um, and the Amazon, you know, I, I, I think of Sagittarius, just a wildfire, you know, um, not always meaning to be so explosive, but it just does. But um, with that comes the light. So this is a person with this sun sign rising combination who is really going to have to embrace both sides of them, the light and the dark. And we all, you know, are called to do that, of course, um, you know, all good things in moderation and bad things for that matter but um, it can be kind of polarizing in that way. So this is an individual who really has, is really being gifted and blessed with this ability to be tapped into both the light and dark realms of themselves and of other people. Um, but the concern is getting stuck in one more than the other. Being a Scorpio rising, my hunch is that most people with this placement are gonna be more inclined to the darkness um, and get stuck in that more than they do the light because the Scorpio ascendant can be so overpowering. Um, if this was reversed and it was Sagittarius ascendant with Scorpio sun, it probably would be a little easier to tap into the light energy. Um, but the Scorpio rising can be so all consuming. 
Um, but that, you know, that might not be the case for everybody. Some people with this placement might just have just an easy of a time tapping into their Sagittarius sun as their Scorpio rising or might have times where one is weighing more heavy or dominant than the other. It can really kind of switch off. Um, you know, I don't have my sun in Sagittarius with my Scorpio ascendant. I have my sun in Virgo with Scorpio rising, but I do have a Sagittarius moon. So I feel like I understand on a different level, on a more emotional level where the moon is at kind of what it's like to have this, uh, to have part Scorpio, part Sagittarius, just in a different way. Um, but for this placement specifically, it is really going to be that balancing act of, um, you know, is the, is the light shining or is the dark overshadowing, you know, and finding um, that place between the two that uh, they're both able to have their moments, sometimes at the same time coexisting. Uh, which is difficult because, you know, these are both an energy. Sagittarius really takes up space, is like, psh, comes in, they want to be the spotlight. But then Scorpio, in a much more intense and subtle way, uh, really occupies and fills space as well. So it's a matter of how it's really going to be shared. So that's really it for this one. Again, a really beautiful placement. One of my favorites. Um, I absolutely have enjoyed individuals I've met that have it. Um, so I hope that this was helpful. If you have this placement or know someone with this placement, uh, please feel free to check out my website links down below for a discounted reading of any kind with me. And as always, everybody, much aloha and happy transiting.